Finally, some good news in our industry. I woke up this morning to a beautiful email that I thought I would share with all of you guys out there. I get an email from one of our drivers and in this video, we'll refer to him as John. I'll read out the email to you guys. Hello, Ronan. My name is John. I've been currently working in your company for over a month now since February 1st. I decided to work for your company because of your videos. You seem to be one of a few people online with common sense when it comes to running a successful trucking business. Anyways, the reason I decided to work for your company was for the lease purchase program. I have enough money for a down payment for a truck, but I was afraid of making a commitment since I was worried about the truck maintenance issues. I want you guys all to know that all drivers should have this as a worry before signing a lease purchase program is worry about the truck maintenance and the issues that a truck is going to give you when you sign on that lease. We'll continue with the email. However, your video said that I can test drive a truck for a month or two before committing to being a lease operator. Anyways, I've been driving truck number 681 and 683. I'm very pleased with its performance and I'm, I'm interested in one of those two trucks for the lease program. However, what I need from you is numbers and figures so I can put that in my calculation to see if it is a wise choice to go with one of your trucks or should I find a truck on my own? So very, very important here is analytics and stats about a truck. What is it performing? How much is it performing? And I recommend to all drivers out there to make sure you get this before purchasing a truck, either from the dealership or signing on a lease purchase program. But let's continue with the email. I will be going on vacation for a week in April, so I'm hoping by that time I'll be a lease operator. Well, the truth is, Either way, I will be a lease operator because I already have the money to do so. It's a matter of choosing the truck or not. I'm mainly interested in the cost of the truck and the monthly payments. Basically, what my net profit would be if I drive 120,000 miles a year. I want my net profit after insurance, truck payment and maintenance and miscellaneous to be around $120,000 a year. I know you're busy. When you have a moment, can you please respond to my email and I would appreciate it. So I really want to do this on camera because I think not only is it good for this driver here for me to respond to, but for all of you guys out there. So of recent, we've opened up a terminal in Atlanta, Georgia, where we are hiring and recruiting drivers. And these drivers were allowing them to become lease operators, but we have a few stipulations. Our lease program is completely different than anybody in the US. Why? Because it's actually mandatory for us to have a driver here between 30 to 60 days before we can flip them into becoming a lease operator. Now, why is that? Now, it's very important, you know, it's it's like as if I was to go on a date or a couple of dates with a woman and literally after a week, she would ask me to marry her. Now, I don't wanna marry her, I'd like to date her first. And if things go well on the first date and the second date, I will continue to a third date. And then we can establish a relationship and only then will I allow her to move to my place or we can move together. And then after testing out the waters for a year or two, I guess in my case, but in your case, I don't know, but will I actually propose and get married to her? Now, when people are making you sign on that dotted line, they're basically telling you, let's get married after our first date or let's get married after you've just heard about me, some really good stuff from your friends and then you're okay to get married to me. But that is a recipe for disaster, okay? I don't recommend for any company driver out there to sign on that dotted line or becoming a lease operator with any company before testing out the truck. I hold seminars or sessions uh, once every month about the lease purchase program and I get you know, 15, 20 guys in a room and we, we, we talk about a lease purchase program and then comes out a deposit and I tell them that you know our lease program is different. We require deposit. They're like, oh, you require deposit? it and then all of a sudden you know I would say probably five out of the 25 people are like oh you know this is not for me you guys need to understand something forget about ET transport or myself there is nothing in life that's good that's free okay and when all these companies out there are giving you a free lease purchase program and a walk away lease purchase program they're basically just stiffing you right at the beginning all right you can walk away whenever you want it's free to sign up what in the world do you think they're giving you for free? The ability to make hundreds of thousands of dollars or trapping you in a lease where all the headlines lately is predatory lease agreements. And why are they so predatory? Well, number one, because it's this thing about owner operators in the US. I mean, I have a Canadian mentality. You know, we brought our system into the US. Now, I know you guys are all gonna bombard me and say, oh, go back to Canada, back to Canada. But you know what you do guys in the comments, you guys roast me there, but that's fine. I mean, I, I can take it. But the system in the US is more of, a rental, everything is rented to you and you basically own jack shit. At the end 
end of four years, at the end of six years, at the end of eight years. I mean, I talk to truck drivers and I have over 9,000 truck drivers in my database that I talk to. I wouldn't say all of them on a regular basis, but I talk to a lot of drivers. And in the US, the mentality is very different. It's, you know, let's give this driver a rental unit, let him work for three, four, five years, and then let's give him another rental unit just so we can upgrade his truck. But the driver himself never really gets to own anything. And they all sell it as, you know, a walkaway lease program. They all sell it with no deposit. And you need to understand that, like I said before, nothing that's good in life is free. Now, when we ask for a deposit, there's a reason why we ask for deposit. Number one, is because we allow you to drive the truck for 30 to 60 days, make sure that you like it, make sure that the maintenance records are good on it, make sure that the fuel consumption, which is one of the most important things, is good on it. And not only then do we ask you for a deposit because you're actually entering into an agreement that you're buying this truck. You're not renting it. You're not gonna uh, you know, drive it for four or five years. This truck will actually become yours after 41 months. So back to the email and my response to the driver. So this driver actually drove both units, unit 681 and 683 both of which are 2021 models. They both have about 400 thousand miles on it and they're both in very very good condition well-maintained fleet units so unit number one over here over the course of the last you know January 1st to February 29th that truck its fuel consumption is 7.9 miles per gallon and then we have the second unit which is 683 that unit has 7.6 miles per gallon so that's really one of the most important things well obviously I sent them hours and you know some other stats on it but the most important thing is what these trucks are consuming the fuel that they're consuming. So the driver actually knows what he's talking about because he sat in both trucks and he can actually make a proper decision on which one he wants. So obviously he's interested in buying one of these two units. Now, let's talk about the payments of that unit. So let's go into a finance loan calculator. Now these units that he's looking at, approximately about $75,000 is what it would cost to buy one of these units, okay? Both these units have battery pack APU units and both these units have extended warranty on them. Now, the driver knows that he's gonna come up with seven thousand dollars which is what it would cost to get into one of these trucks at our fleet why because we don't give away trucks for free and we definitely don't give anything good away for free okay it costs money to become an owner operator and if you want to continue getting into lease programs that have zero money down and promise you the world and that you can walk away whenever you want you continue doing that but there's a reason why our lease purchase program has become so popular here in Canada and now we're making headwinds in in the US so when you take the seventy five thousand dollars and you finance that. So as a $7,000 deposit, you're actually financing $68,000. And when you're financing $68,000 over and in our interest rates for our power units right now, uh, you can get it for about 8.77% and for a course of 41 months. So that would bring the payment to $1,925 per month. Okay. So that's going to be the monthly pay payment and let's go into the pay statement, okay, that I sent him. So here is a pay statement that I sent him. So today's realistic rates, okay, 11,000 miles at 2.05 per mile is $22,550 gross earnings. Now, is this low? Absolutely. The national freight rates are low, okay, and they're at 2.05 per mile right now for the month of February. And if anybody's promising you anything more than that, then I would be very hesitant and I would double check the figures. If it's too good to be true, it most likely is. Okay, so let's continue with this pay statement. So here we have the uh, ET Motor Freight. So we take 25% of the gross earnings and we include your insurance and your trailer in that. So your dry van is included plus your monthly insurance is included. Now the truck lease is $1,925, which is what I took from the other page. Now this is a monthly pay statement, but drivers actually get paid semi-monthly every 1st and 15th. So the fuel here is based on seven miles per gallons. Now we checked actually in both the scenarios that of the trucks that he wants, one of them is at 7.6 miles per gallon and the other one is 7.9. So he will actually do a little bit better when it comes to fuel. The tolls and bridges, I probably estimated at about $400. Uh, there is a uh, accident, some uh, insurance, uh, to lower your deductible. So that's accident insurance, $135 a month. And then there's the registration, which is your plates, which is $166 a month. So you can see here that the actual earnings for a uh, lease operator in our lease purchase program would come out to $8,000 a month. Now these are realistic figures. So unfortunately I had to send back an email with a pay statement and letting the driver know that I'm really sorry, but $120,000 per annually net income after everything is just not realistic. And the reason why it's not realistic is because freight rates are down and they are, um, and they are very, very low right now. So 2.05 will not get you to $120,000 
annually as a clearance. You're probably more looking realistic figures is about 96 thousand dollars is more of a realistic figure if the rates bump up a little bit to 210 220 you'll probably end up making about the 110 and if they bump up to about 225 per mile which is where they need to be 225 235 then you will for sure make that hundred twenty thousand dollars but you know one of the things that i've learned over the years is you got to be really honest with people the last thing you want is shitty and horrible google reviews the last thing that you want is people hating you the last thing that you want is people not trusting in you so if you can't make it work just let the driver know that you can't make it work and i can assure you that when you're open and honest with people it actually attracts a lot more people towards you than 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 trying to paint a picture that's not actually there well hopefully you learned something from this video and i do want to thank John, our driver, that's been working in our Georgia division for about a month and a couple of weeks. And I do appreciate the positive feedback on the channel and the positive feedback on our company. And if you guys have any questions about this, about the pay, yes, you know, you guys will roast me only $8,000 yet, but these are actual realistic numbers. And I don't care, you know, what people say out there. I'd rather give the truth and I'd rather say, you know, the real facts out there than to blow smoke up your ass. Hopefully you learned something from this video. And if you have any comments or questions about this video, Feel free to leave them in the comments down below. I'm Ronan, R-O-N-E-N, and I'll catch you in my next video.